Hi, I'm QDC. What we're going to build today is Trumpeter's Soviet Aerosan. The reason why I bought this particular kit was no real reason at all. When I was looking around for another kit to build, I saw this particular kit and I just thought it looked cool. Um, it looked like a very fun vehicle to drive and so I just simply bought it. So let's go ahead and start building this kit right now. Let's go take a look inside this box. We have the instruction sheet. Painting and marking guide. The sled. The hull. It looks like the engine parts. Figures. Machine gun. Photo etch part. And the decal. I want to talk to you more about the details of this kit. It's very good. What you're looking at right now is the engine, and the engine is very well detailed. If you're mechan mechanically inclined, you can tell that this is a four-cylinder automobile engine, and it has most of the parts that you expect on an engine. For example, you have the intake manifold, the fan, um, and if I turn it over to the other side, you can just see the alternator and the, uh, the flywheel. Is a very well detailed model kit. I masked the entire um, vehicle and now I'm going to paint the interior with the color of brown. This is the computer model kit before painting, and this is a very good model for both the beginner and also the advanced modeler. 
Um, this is a recent kit that was made back in 2011 and for what you get it's extremely good. It's easy to build and you get great details too. I like the photo edge part here from the machine gun site and the figures look very good, very detailed and the vehicle itself is exquisite and you know I just love the engine too now um, it's just not too often I get to say that a newer kit is good for both the beginner and also the advanced model like because usually newer kits um, there's so so there's so many parts to it that I would, I would normally have beginners not to make it but this is an exception okay so I built the kit and now it's time for me to um, paint the kit now I painted the model with a coat of gray primer and normally I would actually paint this entire model black to give it shadows but since this AeroSan is uh, white this gray primer alone will work both as a primer and also as a, uh, a base for shadows as well. Next I'm going to paint the entire model with a coat of off-white color. I'm going to give my model some highlights. I'm going to um, use my airbrush and paint, uh, tint the entire model with a white color instead of using my traditional dry brushing technique. I'm going to protect the entire model by applying a coat of future floor wax. I'm going to spray my entire model with a tint of buff color. I'm going to do some pin washing. What you see right here is a dilution of gray artist oil paint and mineral spirits. And pin washing is basically selecting certain areas of the model where you want to have a wash instead of um, having the entire model wash instead. I'm going to give some chip paint. I'm just going to brush on a darker color of the main color to represent chip paint. This is the completed model kit from start to finish and it looks pretty good. I like the way I did the chip effects and also I like the weathering too. The weathering has made the model look very nice and it gives it a nice worn out appearance. The figures look very nice and the details are exquisite. It's time for me to build the diorama. It's time for me to build the diorama. What you see right here is a ordinary wooden base that I bought at my local craft store and I stained it and I'm going to cover it with premixed tile grout as my ground cover 
then I'm going to use static grass and then finally for snow I'm going to use baking soda. All right, so I built the kit, I painted it, I weathered it, I made a diorama out of it, and now it's time for me to show you my computer model kit. Take a look. This is a computer model kit all finished up, and I like it. The vehicle itself is very nice. And the way I painted the figures made the entire model look very nice too. The diorama looks very nice, um, having the snow and also uh, having the grass showing up a little bit, which adds a little bit more realism to the uh, display. And this is just a really good kit for all skill levels, especially for the beginners. This kit doesn't have a lot of parts. and for those of you who are beginners, if you really want to have a recent kit with, highly, with a high amount of detail, high amount of realism, this is it. This is a type of kit that you should buy. Now, I'm not advocating for trumpet or anything like that, but this is a good kit. That completes this model kit. This is a very easy and great looking model that uh, really is meant for all skill levels, especially for the beginners. This is, it's, at the time of this recording, it's an inexpensive model kit. And for those, uh, for those of you who are beginners, um, I think you're going to like this kit a lot. What you're going to see next is a video slideshow of my entire model kit. But before I go, as always, just because I put this video here on YouTube, it doesn't make me a model kit expert. I am not an expert. I'm just a regular guy just like you. I hope this video encourages you to build a model kit of your own. Either it's a model tank, a model plane, a model train, or even an automobile. It doesn't matter. In the end, it's all about having fun. I'm QDC. Thanks for watching. And always, please, have a great day.